Fucking liberals, chat. Fucking liberals. Can I get some reason, chat, about the fucking libs? Now, generally, when I talk about liberals, I try not to be overly aggressive towards them, because liberals, at the end of the day, usually hold most of the same um, short-term goals as leftists, right? You know, we all agree, um, most liberals agree, yeah, trans rights, those are important, right? You know, uh, a prison reform is pretty important. They don't, we don't quite agree on, like, capitalism and like communism and socialism right but within our lifetime i feel like on most issues liberals and leftists will fall to similar areas in the same issues and which is why when i see this massive rise in fascism that's taking a place across the fucking world right now but particularly in america i feel this this need to play devil's advocate and defend liberals at times but holy shit are there some fucking libs online that I just, I can't stand. Liberals will always support fascists. That's what we're getting into. I'm not talking about liberals like Destiny. I think Destiny is probably about as good as you can get when, you're, when we're dealing with libs. I'm talking about the fucking wine moms. You see, Social Justice Demon isn't the only person that I've had a run-in with on Twitter as of late. Unfortunately, I had a bit of a run-in with the queen of the libs. Why don't you guys take a guess? I think you all know. Someone already guessed it. The queen of the libs, of the wine mom libs. Christy fucking Winters. Christy fucking winters dude holy shit i um i tried to debate christy winters i reached out and i was like yo i challenge you to a, to a debate it wasn't like um it wasn't like like a mean or anything i was very kind and i feel cordial cordial with my um with my like hey do you want to debate and she just lost her shit and was like extremely condescending and mean and the, and the cringiest part was she responded and, like, spoke almost entirely in, um, in boomer gifs. Like, you know the gifs that you see in, in the memes that boomers post? Oh my god, it was so fucking cringe. Um. Here, this is the, um, fuck, I can't show it on stream. Oh yeah, June kind of backed me up here on this one. So, basically... I reached out and offered to debate, was like the original meme. At K Winty, I challenge you to a debate, and she responds, an actual debate, or the sort of pointless grandstanding Vosh or Sargon does. Imagine even attempting to compare the type of debate that Sargon and Vosh do. Holy fuck. How bad faith can you possibly be? That was when I realized that this was going to be an interesting fucking interaction. Holy shit. So if we move down, I said, I don't know. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with my debate style, but I try to be cordial and respectful. My goal is to convince the person that I'm talking to. And this is true. If you watch my content and if you watch my, um, if you watch my, like my debates when I'm not like, obviously the Lord Huguenot thing we just did was a whole nother story. But like, if you watch my debates with like generally with people, I'm trying to convince the person that I'm talking to. That's usually my goal. I'm always trying to convince the person that I'm talking to, not just the chat, not just the people watching. So I, I typically believe that you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. I know, fucking Boomer Biden quote, but still, like, I'm not an asshole when I debate people, usually. She responds, that's not what I asked, though. Do you mean an actual debate or the nonsense conversations people have on YouTube and try to pass off as a debate? I have no idea what this means. Um... I mean, I feel like my response saying, I don't know if you're familiar with my debate style, but I try to be cordial and respectful. I, f I mean, I, I mentioned I'm, I'm respectful and my goal is to convince the person I'm talking to. I feel like that's a pretty good answer to her question. 
And this person, who is also a pretty fucking crazy liberal ass Twitter woke scold, fucking libs, dude. Fucking libs. That's Pig Punchers. Oh man, the dead naming chat. Oh, my heart's gonna break. That's Pig Punchers. Uh, that's Pig Puncher under their rebranded name. If you don't know, they're Va they're a Vosh wannabe. If that gives you some insight into the type of debate they're referring to. Literally, Vosh's own girlfriend has come into my chat to say that she prefers my debate style more than Vosh's because Vosh goes for blood and I try to go for sort of a mutual understanding and try to convince my audience. Like, I have a very different debate style to Vosh. Maybe my, my, my humor or my like way that I cover videos and respond to people is a bit more like Vosh. I will completely accept that. Um, but my debate style is about as far from Vosh's debate style as it gets. It's not even like Destiny's debate style. I, I, as a general rule, I assume a stranger who starts a conversation with a debate challenge, mind you, this isn't my first time talking to Christy Winters. Christy Winters knew who I was. To me, via public tweet, has already disqualified themselves as a serious person. And if they avoid a formal debate for a free-for-all of talking over each other, I can tell. I, and then the boomer fucking gif, I can't handle this, or you can't handle this. Um, I mean, I've said I'm very respectful with my debate style. I'm trying to convince the people I'm talking to. Um, this tweet is unavailable. And then posts a tweet from here. Oh, yeah, this was Christy Winter's... <laughs> I just want to say I've known who Christy Winters was for eight years. Or not eight years, not eight years, since 2016. She has 8,000 subscribers, and I've known who she is since 2016. Since I was a fucking teenager, I've known who this lady is, and she's so irrelevant. She's so irrelevant that in, the in like, the what? Since 2016, as long as I've known who she is, she only has 8,000 subs. I don't like to shame people for being smaller than me. That's I find that disrespectful, but this is pretty funny. This is undeniably pretty funny. Christy Winters is the perfect wine mom name? True. But they are so thirsty today. I... It was two tweets. What? I challenge you to a debate. I don't know if you're familiar with my debate style, but I try to be cordial and respectful. My goal is to convince the person I'm talking to. This is thirsty? Is this... Is this thirsty to you guys? Do you consider this to be thirsty? And then, of course, the libs saying they're nervous about the spanking Bernie is getting today. Rip your mentions today. And then, you know, memes because boomer fucking gifts. These people aren't progressives. Um, these people aren't progressives. They don't care about trans people. They don't care about gay people. They don't care about the, um, the proletariat. They don't care about marginalized groups at all. Uh, Christy Winters is a bigot. She's a bigot who is just using her um she's just using her 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 fucking progressive uh 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 or i should say faux progressive uh, uh uh aesthetically sort of facade to try to attack actual progressives is she a turf probably yeah a lot of these she she's got to be a turf she reminds me of a turf hold on can i see like an image of her hold on can i get like a picture of of christy winters Please? Twitter? Yeah, guys. I don't know if she's a TERF, but, um... I mean, she was supporting... She was a fucking... I'm pretty sure she was a Kamala Harris supporter, then a Warren supporter, and now a Biden supporter. Yeah... At the very least, she doesn't give a fuck about trans people. Um, I'm sorry, Christy Winters, but if you're watching this, feel free to hit me up for a debate to, to clear your name. But you are not a progressive. You don't care about any of these groups. If you did, you'd be supporting Bernie. You're supporting centrist candidates that help maintain the status quo. You don't 
care about these groups. Or at least it's not as much as you claim to. The fact that you spend all of your time attacking advocates for these groups is quite telling. I think it's reductive as hell. And I have no respect for you. I've been laughing at you. It's funny, too. I've been laughing at you since I was a 17-year-old reactionary in 2016, when I was a teenager. I've been making fun of you since then. And as my political ideology has changed over the years and I've moved to the far left, you are still a joke to me. You are still a joke. Because you hold no actual political positions. You just want to maintain the status quo. You don't want any major change to help anybody. You just want to maintain the status quo. And trans people, gay people, anybody, all the, everybody who's in prisons, fuck, guarantee this lady doesn't support the ab uh, abolition of private prisons. All these groups that are, that are, um, that are just shit on by all these institutional uh, uh, barriers, all of this uh, systemic bigotry that is in our society. You don't want to do shit about that. You just want to go back to the days when when it, when Obama was president, when things were just normal, when you know you, the the president was only ever on TV when something serious was happening. That you know when we had o the Obama days. That's what liberals miss. That's what these wine mom liberals miss. Obama, and I'll admit sometimes I miss Obama because those were the days when I didn't give a fuck about politics. And I just played video games all day, and everything. Everything was just so peaceful and, and fun and nice. But guess what? I'm a leftist. I care about actual change now. You do not. Stop pretending to be a progressive. Stop attacking real progressives from a, uh, a state of faux progressivism when you hold no actual progressive positions and you don't support any actual progressive candidates and you do nothing but attack progressives. My mom is just like Christy Winters, by the way. Do you want to know what my mom said to me over the phone yesterday? You guys want to know what my mom, my fucking now Biden supporter mom said over the phone yesterday? My mom said that Bernie supporters only support Bernie because if, if Bernie wasn't around, then they'd have to support a woman. And Bernie bros just hate women. Well, she was a she was a Buttigieg supporter and then a Warren supporter and now a Biden supporter. She's never Bernie, just like uh, just like uh, Christy Winters is. Yeah, these types of people are a cancer, um, legitimately. Um, they're more numerous than the reactionaries, I would say. Um, they have a stronger foothold in pop culture. We've shown it on stream, you know the. Uh, Reactionaries like to make fun of it all the time, but there really is a lot of just orange man bad memes that are pushed by like the the mainstream like liberal media, where they don't actually advocate for like large systemic change, like progressive change. They just basically do the um, basically do the like Colbert for example, just the more female drone pilots. Basically that. I, I, I honestly am so disappointed by these people, and it's really upsetting that they get to try to use a, um, a false uh, veneer of progressivism to push centrism. It's... Liberals fucking make jokes how Trump is ugly or gay with Putin. That's literally their humor. Yeah, I remember that. Didn't Colbert? There was this hashtag cancel Colbert th uh, thing that happened back in like 2017 or something. Because Colbert made a joke about Trump and, and, what's his, and Putin being gay for each other. That is the extent of liberal critique of Trump. That is a, that's the best that liberals can do. Well, I should say the wine mom liberals. Obviously there's... Clearly exceptions, but god damn is it fucking cringe. Uh, cringe!